morning everybody well I don't know why every time I, I start a video I say like good morning or good afternoon or whatever but uh, welcome back to another video today uh, I'm actually driving a Renault Tihoy Evolution so a new shape one um, and it's actually our own truck believe it or not now if any of you guys follow me on TikTok you will probably would have seen this exact truck before we had even bought it before we even knew it was even ours um, and I'm sitting in Santa House HQ back in uh, late October, early November, and it was sitting there in stock, and it ended up that we ended up buying it because we need new lorries. And uh, my CF is now gone. Uh, well, it's not gone; it hasn't been traded in or anything. It's been passed on to the next man. So now I am truckless until Friday, until I pick up my new truck. Um, you probably would have seen the Volvo video already. So if it's, if I haven't told you about it already, you would have seen it anyway. So today I'm just bringing it for a spin. I'm going up to. A couple of drops, one in Newry, a couple in Belfast, collection in Lisbon. Nice, nice easy day, you know what I mean? Nice and straightforward. So everyone is gonna be asking, Ian, what are the changes? What's been updated? What's been made better? What's been made worse uh, on the Renault t -Hoy, or t this isn't a t this is just a T-Evolution. Um, so off the bat, right, just in this vicinity here, steering wheel adjustment, perfect. Steering wheel's actually made, been made, I'd say it's about half an inch smaller in diameter. Could be wrong, but it feels smaller. Um, so the steering column is totally new. It's near as makes no difference. Uh, a Volvo steering column, you can feel it's, it's near it's the same adjustment. There's a bit of neck tilt. Not all the neck tilt you probably get in a Volvo, but it has most of it, which is a great improvement over the old one because the old one was just a disaster. So anyone that's ever driven the older uh, Renault T's will know that <clears throat> you kind you don't get comfortable in it. You have to make yourself appropriate to drive it. What I mean by that is you kind of have to adjust yourself to meet the steering wheel and not the other way around. So I found that very annoying in the older shape ones. It never really bothered me until I knew there was a new shape coming out. It only started bothering me that they didn't adjust it sooner, you know what I mean? Maybe in 2017 they should have updated it. But anyway, we're here now in 2022 and it's got the updated steering column. Brilliant news. Uh, what else have we got? We've now got the radio, which was up here, which I hated. I hated that in the old ones. Anyone that's watched me all T reviews know I hated the radio being up here because it was absolutely useless up there. Now, they didn't move the USB slot, which was a bit annoying. They should have put the USB thing here. They have it up here with your auxiliary connection, but it doesn't matter. It's got a really good Bluetooth system compared to the older uh, shape. And um, what else have they got that they've changed? Uh, I think that's near enough everything that they've changed because everything down here is the same. Uh, everything on the right side is the same. And oh yeah, for the steering wheel adjustment, for the steering wheel adjustment, it used to be a button on the on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Now it's like a push pedal or a pe push button on the passenger side or on the passenger side, I'd say, on, on just above your left leg. So it's much handier to adjust it instead of going, try to look over the steering wheel to try and find your steering wheel adjustment button and then for it to be able to just go, you know what I mean? Not a whole lot different. Let this big board chat go. And what else has changed? I think this one has sat nav. I've literally been in it for an hour, so I don't know. <laughs> I actually never even got to mess with it yet. I haven't got to play around with it as long as I'd like to, because I probably only have this for the day, you know? Because the driver that actually drives this uh, is just taking a day off. I think he's going to get something sorted on himself. So yeah, bring the RT. Very exciting. Um, I'm just having a look around to see if it's any different at all. I don't think it is. It doesn't look any different. Is that a table? I'll show you that in a minute. There's a table hanging on the wall. And then there's a bracket and all for it. So it's obviously made to go in the lorry. I'm going to examine that now in a few minutes. That's very interesting. I didn't see it a few minutes ago because it was dark when I was driving up here. A trip to Belfast without a great soft stroll. We all know that. Don't even dare go past this service without going in here and getting one of these. And I've seen someone before said, Oh, they're not that great. You've obviously never had one, then. obviously never had. 
you seen the outside. Now this is the inside. Uh, another couple of things I wanted to say about this spec truck. No passenger air uh, on the passenger seat, which is fine. Who gives a shit really? No one. Um, actually, I'll, you know what, I'll just I'll spin the, the camera around so you can have a look. I'm just gonna hide some things first. Don't be looking down here, right? These these aren't these aren't for your eyes, mine only. So this is her on the inside now. Not a whole lot different compared to the old one. Is it really? This is the steering wheel. Now he's ready for this. Boom! Look at that. She spang you. In these models, the steering wheel actually comes out to meet you, which is great. So you can sit back into your chair. Whereas in the older shape one, you couldn't really do that. It was very, very uncomfortable and you would have to move your seat forward. And literally, the old ones used to just come to here. And that was it. And it was really annoying. Now they come all the way back out and there's neck tilt on it there, as you can see. And it's as close to a Volvo as you're gonna get. And a Volvo is perfection. We all know that here. So this is the new screen. This one has sat nav and all sorts of cool stuff on it. Oh, geez, I'm not even recording the screen. Come on, yeah. So this has the Tom Tom sat nav. Uh, this is a brilliant sat nav. I've used this in a video before in a T high review. Um, very, very good. And, and it's quick, you know, like you're pressing buttons and things are happening straight away. You're not waiting around for stuff to happen, you know? It's deadly. It's really, really good. Now, bad points. We're, nowhere to put your phone at all. You put your phone in here, this bashes off my knee. Uh, and I know people say, oh, just drive with your legs straight. No, man, I need to I need to make room for what I have uh, in my under storage. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I don't sit like this. And even if I did, the steering column is very wide in the middle and that's as close together as I can get my legs. Um, still has a crap cup holder. Um, now, 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 now. That's not a great idea, especially not in a Renault. Um, so a lot of you would be familiar with the keys, right? And you, I'd probably wonder why that's still on it, but there's still a, a pin lock on the door. So they got rid of these keys, putting them in uh, in the steering column, which used to go like around here or whatever, because they kept breaking. So when you got into the truck, usually your keys would be sticking out here, right? And that's a pretty big fob for a small key. So when you got in, you'd smash your knee off it. I've done it millions of times. I actually have severe tendon problems because I've done it so many times over the years. Uh, they took it out there because the keys kept snapping and it wasn't covered under warranty, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. So I can understand why they put the button there, but maybe they should have just put like a little slot for the key to sit into and, you know, maybe, a, a key, or even just to move it up to here like they have it in the Volvo. But obviously they can't go as similar to a Volvo as they'd like. No passenger air, which is fine. Nobody cares about that. Um, you still got all the basics in here. You still got your two bunks. You got uh, your remote in the back there. You got a 12 volt socket, two USB-Cs. Ooh, very interesting, very interesting. Um, you got all your normal lockers. You've got your blind that's attached to the door and not attached to the roof, which is a great idea. Volvo should have took that idea as well. That's a, you know what I mean? It's handier there. Uh, your curtains and all are all tied back there. They're all insulated curtains as well, so it keeps the heat out, which is a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's the inside. It's only 6,000, or well, not even 6,000, 8,000 kilometers, I think, on this. And start this up again. There we go. What's on there? Jesus, there's nothing on her at all, boy. As you can tell, she's not even broke in yet. She's literally, I think it's about like four weeks old or something stupid like that. So, I'm gonna eat these sausage rolls, gonna get my deliveries done, and I'll check back in once it's in a while. Oh, it's so good. Oh, so good. It's hot. <clears throat> it actually turns out it's the end of the day now, and I forgot to film half the day because I was so busy. I was just up and, up and down on a couple of different drops, so I didn't film everything. And uh, here we are. I'm down in my last drop down here in Dublin, so it's my last drop of the day. Uh, gonna drop the truck back to where the normal driver picks up uh, for the morning so he's back in it in the morning he was literally he, he was off at the dentist or something today so that's the, literally the only reason i got to drive this and uh, as i said earlier on i'm going to truck this until friday so you guys will probably see this video the following week and whatever it's going to be a bit of uh, uh the video is going to be a bit all over the place so my general thoughts on the new t evo and especially the 440 um it's a very nice lorry drives really well drives 
Very similar to the old one, except the 440 has way more torque. I feel it's a bit more responsive and uh, it's just a better puller really, to be honest. It's a very good little puller now, I have to say. Even a full load on there this morning, I, don't, I think it was like, the load was like 16 ton or whatever. But it pulled it great, you know, it, it didn't pull it like it was dead and most of the dafts are, the normal 460s would be just, you know, be all right going up and down hills, it wouldn't be anything exciting, but uh, no, this was good. This was definitely really good. I'm impressed now, I have to say. Oh yeah, I'm gonna suss out what the story is with this table here. Let's let's do this together. I'll show you. So, this is the table here, look. I've been looking at this now for the past few minutes. I'm like, where does that go? It looks like just like a picnic table or whatever, maybe for the middle part here to eat your lunch off. I don't know. I don't wanna go mess with it because knowing my look, I am so brutal at putting things back where they belong and getting them in right, so I just don't wanna touch it. And uh, like, look, at the, look at the truck like. P has the truck spotless like that's literally just all my gear there that's a bag of rubbish and then I have a few wipes and stuff like that and hang on a minute oh what's that that's right stickers are coming soon if you see if any of you ever meet me in public ask me for a couple of stickers I usually always have a few so yeah this is where I am doesn't take a genius to guess where I am bam 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 that doesn't mean I'm done by the way that just means I'm not even started yet great success and I know all these are gonna be wondering about the steering wheel position. So this is me at my normal setting. I don't have the air seat up. Usually I'd have the air seat up to support the bottom of my knees here. Um, but this is the adjustment on it now. Like, so she goes right up. Whereas before you couldn't do that in the older truck only you literally just went to about here. And now you can just put your foot on the pedal here and down she comes, out to you. And it has the neck tilt on it as well, see that? So you can basically make it comfortable for you so I can just sit back in my chair and drive this like I was driving a Volvo you know it's a million times better than it used to be that's the best improvement they've done over the whole lorry to be honest with you um, and it just makes life so much easier for the driver makes it more comfortable because in the older lorry you would have to come out to meet this and like you're never comfortable when you have to try and suit yourself to fit to fit around the steering wheel not the other way around so a uh, very good improvement well done Renault now for the outside, this is what's a bit different. You've got your new headlights, you've got your corner bumper diffuser down here, which is very sexy and sleek, I have to say. Side skirts, we've got the Volvo flaps up and down. I think this is called the Aero Kit. I think that's what Volvo call it, so I'm just gonna assume it's called the Aero Kit. Um, we've got this one come in with super singles. It's got its wheel chock. Uh, that's the red over there, Zoe 101. Yeah, looks really nice and beefy. It's got the extended wheel arches as well. It just looks like, ready to hit the continent very very nice and we got a i think it's a bragging bar up on top is it bragging bar a couple of air horns color coded here's the new headlights here these are all led they work really well in the night time he's a lot be pleased to know t540 that's where she says she's the 13 layer there dti 13 you got your big ad blue can uh, blue calendar, did you hear me? You got your big ad blue tank, uh, that's a 500 litre fuel tank on this side, and then there's a 600 litre on the other side. She's just good news. Good news is right. So, that's about it. 